that's the fold that down tuck that in so now what we're going to do is just come in here a little bit of flux make sure our iron is hot you will need your iron set much hotter for this because this is these are thicker conductors so now what i'm going to do very little solder i'm just going to kiss it you don't want a lot just enough and the reason i don't want a lot is because by this tin what's going to happen when i apply the flux being it's liquid it's going to flow right over this piece and it will make a pocket and that solder will naturally use capillary action and fill this conductor up you notice how it's all set okay we're good i'm going to insert that right there and this is where you need a pretty steady hand because if you screw up you're starting over Now I'm going to build this solder up. I'm certainly not going to try to fill this all in one go. Done. Not too much to it when you have the jigging process complete. Now you see the bubble I have there. I'm going to apply a little flux over it. Not crazy. I'm going to let the iron do the job. Now the thing is here is you want to keep applying solder and you want to do it in a format that allows this to melt properly. And there it goes. And you hear that little capillary action working. Done. We're letting that side of flow. Right there. I just keep applying flux. And now with that heat, I just keep building it. And building it. And all these experts that do soldering, they don't show you this because they usually don't follow this process and to each their own but i'm telling you right now this works excellent you see the conductor actually loosened up boom don't worry about the carbon a little bit of carbon on there that will come right off matter of fact we'll move that right now and i think i've said this before in previous videos i like to use my own solder remover which is citrus based i do not like alcohol a lot of guys like that crap and they get tired of smelling it so just not into it each their own.